So it's not an overstatement to say that three people uh, over the last year have literally saved my family. And this is me saying very humbly, but also ve saying very real about the number of things that my family has had to go through and, and navigate, um, I would say over the last three and a half years, but definitely over amplified over the last 18 months and, and, and years since being in Escondido. And three family or three non-family members contributed to our lives in a way that I, I swear um, will have my undying loyalty for the rest of my life. I'm gonna share those three names with you at the end of this. This is the last newsletter uh, for the year, uh, the mid-month. I'm very excited. Uh, we are in the wake of uh, what we call our 12-week year, our quarterly planning meetings, which this end of this one is the end of Q4, moving into 2024. And it was uh, started out with a little exercise that we learned over, I've learned over the last several years. First time we've actually done it in this meeting where we took a bunch of post-it notes and different colors and we wrote down personal wins and we wrote down uh, team wins. And it was inarguable, inarguable that all of us have been through dramatic transformations in our lives. Some people have had mag magical healings. We've had babies born. We've had so many things navigate in our personal lives. But something that was so common on uh, the team wins was that, and it was, it was literally the first one that I, that I kept that I was going to talk about, thinking that it was going to be somewhat unique. But uh, out of eight of us, we all said to some degree that, this is the best team that we've ever been, you know, working with. And I say this humbly because I've been at the helm of future generations for, you know, now, I think this is now seven years as a brand and future generations. And in my own personal practice, it's been about 11 years. And this is by far the best team that we've ever had. And I say that gracefully, I say that gratefully, and I say that humbly, but also with so much excitement because it was person after person after person after person said the same thing, whether they've been with us three months, whether they've been with us three years, almost three years with Dr. Ryan, um, it was the same across the board. And it's one of those feelings that you get when you get to the third year in a row, which from a business perspective, we could say we're, we plateaued and, and, and <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that over the last year, two years, that it doesn't sometimes hit your confidence a little bit. But I've, I, I'm a numbers guy and I'm a statistics guy and I dig deep into the understanding, not just of the numbers, but why they're happening. And if I can understand and grasp where the root causes and the root solutions are, then I really assess whether or not we have the team that's gonna navigate us through it. And I think you all would probably share also that we have an incredible team. And so um, from the bottom of my heart, you, my team, I'm very grateful for all of you uh, because in the end, um, you make it all work and you make me look as good as possible. But at the also end of the day, when we deployed to Iraq in 2003, my, my, my unit and I, um, it, was, it was one of the most amazing things where our S1, our personnel guy, <laughs> first of all, the theme was, we just want good dudes. We just want good people that we know that if we deploy and we're in the craziest conflicts, that we are going to be with people that we absolutely know that we would devote everything that we could to. And that in those high stress environments, high trauma environments, that we're going to look to, to our left and to our right. And we're going to trust that person is that type of person. And I love, um, I love our team. It was just, it was really funny. And a little aside in Iraq, like my RS1 would go down to Balad and we would be at the airfield and all the people would come in and he would have already gone through the list of people with us and we would have headhunted in Iraq the specific um for us we were biased West Point grads that we knew were those type of people that we wanted to be in combat with and we kind of stacked the deck in our favor and I feel like we've stacked the deck in our favor and I shared with you <laughs> Never mind my wood pile back there, right there, right? That's, that's why I'm out here. This is my homework um, for the afternoon because this wood pile is going to go right here behind this camera um, because it's just going to be better and because it just falls when it's back there. But that's the wood pile I inherited. 
and that's the wood pile I perfected. And I really just realized that the foundation of that wood pile is just not something that's going to sustain. I wanted to, to share a little bit more. Um, on Monday, you will hear an episode, uh, which is, I think, the fourth episode that I will have done about my son, Luca. And I wanted to have him here, but we always do these videos now during naps, and we're trying to figure out sleep and things like that. So I don't have a video. I may try to try to crop one in um, so that you can actually see him see him walk. So maybe stay tuned to the end, and maybe maybe you get a visual of that. But his steps um, and and what I consider um, the. the the greatest triumph, as I shared with you in the last newsletter, the greatest triumph of our year is our son walking. And I shared with my team that the number of things that providentially had to have happened, the people that we met, the treatments that we saw, the vision therapy, the conferences that I went to, um, my own kind of understanding and my ability to stand up to a medical ophthalmologist, to my, my also deeper understanding to say that the miracle that is in my son is what I was going to invest everything into over the last year because to get him to this point and to get him to walk is something they told us he would potentially never do but he's not even two yet and he's doing it and the next video that I'm going to do or the, the next podcast that I'm going to do is going to talk about okay this is the end but it's really the beginning but with Luca and his episode this time around, I'm talking about the triumph. I'm talking about the huge victory that it is that we poured virtually everything we could into his development, into his therapies, into his uh, providers, into his, uh, I was telling uh, my team that his provider said, hey, we're gonna need him to see him weekly for the next 15 weeks. And then we followed that up multiple times, but I came back and said, well, what if you saw him twice a week what if you saw him three times a week and we chose our care schedule based upon our understanding of the nervous system and we blew past even their understanding of what his expectation would be because we understand how the nervous system heals i'm also going to tag below um a story that i gave my team written by this man right here bj palmer the developer of chiropractic it's called the story of that something and what the theme of our, our, our quarterly meeting was called the FG standard. And we had two presentations, one uh, from my life coach and one from my business coach, both of whom have had their family trees dramatically change trajectories based upon the care that we provide. Something that you get to benefit from literally if you're a part of the practice today or if you've been a part of the practice in the past. And what they shared was the multiple family members and how just the robustness of their healing and the transformation that they experienced was something that BJ called that something. BJ called that inside all of us is what we call expect miracles, right? And that miracle isn't just like, oh, you're a blessing and oh, the magical nature of life itself, which it is, but it's deeper than that. It's the human potentiality that rests inside all of us that I knew was in my son, but that I know is deep inside of you and your family tree in a way that maybe no one has ever expressed to you before. We're going to share that story with you because I gave it to my team and I would love for you to read it because it is one of the most well-known stories of chiropractic that if you get the deeper version of what you and how you came to our practice and to our brand and to our business and to our community, that the clinical care is there and calculated to help express the optimal potential of that. So at the end of this, um, I wanted to share with you uh, the names of the three people that I, I credit in the year of 2023 as the three most important people that are non-family, that my uh, creating, remembering, and, and completing document that we shared with you, I believe, last time. We'll share it again on this one. Um, and Hannah Bod, my life coach, um, who shared a half an hour video uh, for our team, which maybe we'll share that one day, um, changed the trajectory of my life, uh, helped me dramatically transcend and, trans and, and, and recognize that I was actually actively uh, resurfacing post-traumatic stress in a way because I've been doing VA claim stuff, because I've had friends come into my life that are old friends. And because of all the things that I've literally felt like I've been on a three-year deployment that I didn't see it kind of rearing its head. I've seen her 
dramatically transformed my wife's life in a way that um, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, but I will tell you it very directly that she saved our lives. Uh, my coach, uh, Mike Lopez, who has been one of the, m the main figures, the mainstays, the steadfast and loyal uh, people in my life who just believe and believe and believe in me and believe in our brand and believe in everything that we do and will do everything he can to help us achieve our potential as a business. Um, why if it's just a business? Because it's not. To me, it's not a business. What they were able to share in our team meeting was that for generations now, because I've been doing this for 13 years, like some of our kids that were in my practice as, as, as expected moms are still part of my practice and they're 9, 10, 11, right, years old. And the third uh, person is actually our new operations manager, Irene McCord, who she doesn't know that I'm sharing this, but... Um, I've, I've wanted a version of who she is um, as a part of my team for about two years now. And I, I haven't felt um, this much loyalty and this much support unconditionally, unbridled, and very calculated, consistent, and foundational um, in my life ever, not just, not family, not, 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 uh, colleagues, not past military members. Um, but Irene's ability to support me, future gen, my family in a wide variety of ways as my executive assistant first, but secondarily now as our operations manager, um, I, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know that I would be here today. And my, my coach Hannah is telling me that I, I very likely uh, could not have been to some degree because of how much we went through over the last year. And so what I wanted to share with you is what we all felt in this meeting. We're about to close out the meeting and Dr. Ryan comes out of the bathroom and he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody stop where you're at, sit down, Ground your feet down, close your eyes, take some deep breaths. And in a year from today, December 15th, 2024, we've hit all of our goals. And we've hit all of our goals through that radically deep service to our community that we all know we are at work with. What does that feel like? And I would tell you that we've been doing team meetings like this for, I think it's seven, six years now, 2017. This might be our 24th meeting. And that was one of the most profound moments that I'm so grateful for, Dr. Ryan. I'm so grateful for that. Because what we will celebrate in a year, and you can hold me accountable to it, is not only the achievement of the business outcomes, but that the outcomes are achieved through a depth of service to you. You are the fourth. Mike, Hannah, and Irene are the three, and you all are the fourth, because at the end of my life, I will know that it will be complete when I have poured my life into you, future generations, our community, and I will have the best team around me and the best community around me um, supporting the service to you. Thank you for sticking with this video. I'm very grateful for it. And uh, I'm going to get to work on this. And we're going to prep for Soup Sunday. Because every Sunday is Soup Sunday. And on the table tonight is uh, the first 40 days. A book by Hung Oh. This meal was actually gifted to us during Luca's birth. I believe it was Luca's birth. Uh, Luca's postpartum. Um, by the Kaisers. Uh... They taught us about mozzarella rind in, in the soups, giving it to umami and giving it like literally the best meal that we've had. And we were making it two weeks in a row because it reminded us of that time. Um, thank you guys uh, for tuning in, staying with us this long. Tune into Luca's video. Uh, please share a gift of health, the amazing, uh, the amazing raffle that we have and the um, 
amazing bonuses that we're including in this offer. It is the greatest promotion that we have. Stay tuned for amazing events next year. Our detox workshop, uh, we're bringing back Raising Healthy Kids Naturally, and we're bringing back um, a perfect storm, and we're getting our events back on the calendar in a way that we know are gonna make an impact in your life and our community. Love and appreciate you all. Thank you.